Try this again. All right, hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Video Game uh, Therapy, episode 100. Uh, I wanted to do face cam for this. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, it was a night. It has been a night. Uh, turning the mic down a bit. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not going to go into you know what I was feeling tonight all that much. Um, I think I just wanted to reminisce. I don't know. I opened Minecraft for some reason, and I I know I, I know why. Um, and I've made a video game therapy on this before. I'm pretty sure. Um, I wonder if actually I look through my old YouTube videos. I I'm gonna talk about what it means to create something. I think. Yeah, on October 8th, 2022, uh, just over a year ago, I made a VGT, it looks like it's number 80, uh, called My Greatest Achievement for Now as a Minecraft Server. Um, I'm going to watch this back later tonight. It's 2023. I started that server when I was 14, I think. I remember finding Minecraft. A friend of mine showed it to me, and then we played, and then... I don't know. Anyway, I, the thing is, I came on tonight and I looked at my mail. The first one you see here is from Oshawa. Um, this one I saw a year and a half ago when I first like saw it. Um, is this gonna? No, I was afraid this was gonna have. Yeah. So he, they, I, you know, I don't know. Sent that two years a month ago. Uh, Oshawa was one of the first people I ever met on a Minecraft server. Um, the server was. Minecraft. That's where Redstone Minecraft gets its name. I enjoyed Redstone at the time, and then I named it Redstone Minecraft. Uh, and then I saw this. Uh, okay, it works. Just wanted to say a quick thanks for the memories. Maybe you can read my full thanks in the log on June 25th, 2023. I keep hoping to see that the server has updated to the latest versions, but I understand that that's not in your plans for it. We all have shit going on in life, and servers can only survive long if they're constantly getting new members. You know, I, I say that this server is the greatest thing I, I've ever created because... Bu, 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 bu. I'm just making sure it's on the right mic. Because I don't think anything has given me a, as deep a sense of purpose. The audio is not doing what I want it to do, so I'm just going to have to be quieter, I guess, or further away from the mic. Um, whatever. But yeah, I... I think this is the greatest thing I've, you know, ever made because it gave me the most the deepest sense of purpose, I think. Um and every every couple months this happens. Every couple months there's something that pops up like this and I don't know, I wonder if I let it die. Some of the messages that this person sent by the way. Um Hey Mark, you probably won't see this. I can't show them because it, it has their IP when they joined. Um, but I've been missing the server for a while and waiting for it to update versions, but it looks like that's not going to happen anytime soon or ever. I love the server and think you did a great job managing it. I made a lot of friends and I'm glad I happened upon your advertisement on Planet Minecraft or wherever it was. You wouldn't recognize this name, but I used to be Hunter 11. I believe I was one of the very first Redstone ranks. Maybe there were like four or five before me. I made that huge village town with Towny with Oz, Speedy, and Jacob, and maybe Link, if those names ring any bells for you. They all do. It looks like all that stuff is gone now, but it will live on forever in my heart. It's the part that hits hard. <laughs> Cheesy shit aside, I just wanted to walk down memory lane and send a thank you into the void. Maybe I'll message you on Discord so that you actually see it. They never message me, but that's okay. Um, I do really wish the server would update to newer versions, and maybe then people will come back for reasons other than why I came today. Um, looks like they visited a bunch of their old plots. Um, this pops into my head a lot. Uh, not that. Not that. Tom! Uh, not that. Not this either. And I forgot about this. 
Uh, nope, not this one. Oh, I thought it was one of the, the plots that was right next to the spawn. Anyway, um, Ahmad 2574 or something like that made a plot that was like, Oinecraft will leave you with memories 1257. Uh, no, it's, oh my God, I'm right. What the hell? Man, my memory is goaded tonight. Um, because I remember the password for the control panel too. Anyway, um, there were just it just gave me a sense of purpose knowing that people had a home base. And I, you know, I think that's what I was feeling tonight. A little lonely, a little left out. Um, and, you know, in some way that's kind of where Oinecraft was spawned from. Um, I don't know, I just made it to hang out with my friends one day and then we jokingly opened it up to Planet Minecraft and some people joined online and then I would post it on my family laptop, Mac, and try to coordinate times when the server would be up and... <laughs> you know, I, I, this is what taught me computer science and programming, like, this is why I'm a software engineer today. I made mini games. Uh, this is why I can type fast because I would talk to people multiple times at once. I still remember like a very vivid moment where I was talking to many people. You know, Fahad007, if you're out there, my first friend, Surya P on, on Oinkraft, D. Mulali. These names just stick with you, you know? And I feel so disconnected from Minecraft to this day. Like if I go on Google search trends, I just look for Minecraft. I'm gonna go ahead and say the past, you know, 2004 to present, sure. In 2009, 2010 is when it really picked up. I found it in I think 2013, which was I guess right before, right at its peak, that checks out. Um, and then there were spikes in 2018. And then it looks like it's spiking again, funnily enough. Um, anyway, look, look it up if you're curious. Just type in Minecraft to Google search trends. Um, I feel so disconnected. You know, I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't have a base anymore. But I also don't play many games anymore. You know, I don't watch YouTube and similar thing. I kind of stopped making videos. Um, But, you know, being a community manager and a server owner, even in the Discord right now, I brought these logs up and people are saying, um, someone remembers Hunter, CJ. Or I said, my take would, uh, I said, how is the greatest thing I've done to date a Minecraft server? And Or I said, my take would be because you care about people in community. And the server was a very tangible representation of how you could grow and facilitate that. Um, on my end though, you pulled it off the Discord too. I just think the focus moved a little away from the server and a little more towards the people. I love being okay. So I, you know, Discord server, cool. And then kind of Bobby said, legit, Oink was the first thing I joined when I became old enough to make a Discord lol. I love the server and the boys TM so much. And it's nice that the Discord's up and we have a handful of people, but It can still just be so much more, you know? And I've been, you know, thinking a lot lately, personally, like, you know, what's the purpose of, of being human, of living, right? Not, not, don't take in the dark direction here. It's just like, you know, I've always wanted to do game design and game development, but <clears throat> I haven't. You know, the, the closest thing I've come to feeling this sense of purpose and connection from what I can remember is 
is you know running a community and, and stuff like that and in some sense it's like i want to do that again i want to do it for myself you know feel like i have a little more purpose and i want to do it for other people because i know how much the community meant to me both in that community itself but also you know I was a part of something. It was cool being the head honcho, sure. <laughs> but I was still a part of it. You know, I wasn't looking down on everyone, which kind of has happened with like, you know, corporate servers and stuff. And then there's the question of, oh, do I want to compete with Hypixel, right? But it's like, the, as soon as you think in that direction, you don't have fun with it. Which is kind of an interesting thought. This is sick, by the way. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, fun times. Um, the company I work for was a startup. Every company is, I guess, but they got bought about a year before I joined. The company I work for now is a code monkey. And my team, the, the CTO, he'd been there for 11 years. Um, I asked him if he would, you know, if he could do it again, would he do it all over again? And he was like, yeah, of course I would. And it's funny because I think about that now because it's like, I've never really connected with the startup mentality with, with building an app and, and doing this and, and getting VC fundraising. But what I'm realizing all of a sudden is that it's not about that specifically. I don't know. I feel like I just and mentally, I asked myself, would I do this again? And yeah, you know, if I went back in time and I don't think about this often, cause I don't think it's worth thinking about, would I have done it all again? Yeah, of course I would. Um, and when I think about why oink, oink short for oink craft, of course, kind of, failed you know died it's been like this for two years if not more i on my resume i have until 2019 is when i worked on the server um see just seeing names just seeing names just brings it all back man Just seeing names, man. This is just the pinnacle of everything right here. It may not look like much to an average viewer, but if you know, you know. <laughs> this site alone can make me cry. Um, but, you know, at the time, as it was going down, I thought, people aren't playing as much and it's hard for me to be motivated to keep going, to, to keep making plugins, to update it. School got busy, sure. I had the time, I just didn't make the time. Um, I started to work when I was switching jobs. I said, if I get this job offer that starts in a certain month, I will devote my summer effectively to Building up Oink again. I told someone that and I promised them. I went with a different offer that had me start two weeks later by my choice. And, you know, I'm doing a part-time master's degree and I don't think I'm going to continue that. I'm not going to go into why, but pretty much the point is I have the time slash I can make the time. And... On a night like tonight... I think the thing I needed most is to be able to hop on to some community, some group chat, some group of people, and just have some common thread. 
And I think that's what Minecraft was for me, kind of grown up a lot. You know, when I, I moved when I was younger and didn't like the kids in my neighborhood, so that's when I turned to the computer. Probably getting a little too personal here, but whatever. And I don't know, the Minecraft server is the greatest thing I've ever built <laughs> to date. And I want to build it again, but I need help doing it, I think. What I didn't realize is that the friends I had been playing with at the time, they were helping me. We were building stuff. We were having fun doing it. And as I've done with just about everything in my life, I took it too seriously. And then I decided that I couldn't, you know, do it anymore. There were, there were people who came along and I was like, hey, you know, this person would be great to run the server. But no one's me. That was never a fair expectation to have, I think. Still isn't, obviously. Um, no one can quite put in the heart and soul of your own project back into your own project. That's why I think hiring C-level management from outside the company is just a weird concept to me. Because you're, you know, kind of self-explanatory. I'm not going to go into it, but... You kind of need someone to make the VCs happy, and but at that point, you kind of lose some of the soul. Um, but, you know, we're all human for now. Um... Man, this was... Oh, I took it down, didn't I? Um, I forget what the theme. Man, having to do build offs. This is one of the things that kind of like, ah, people didn't participate. But if you look back on it, having four to five people participate, it's pretty dope. Was this a uh, dog nut? Nope, Becca. Um, which one did they do? What was the theme? Campfire? I don't know. Um, I did play did not build this. That was just a spawn. <laughs> I forget what I was saying, but. Oh yeah, the whole community thing. We're all human, at least for now, ha ha ha. And I think one of the most human things everyone deserves is, I don't know, community, right? And things change, change is the only, ah, this is dog nuts, bottom dog. Um, Change is the only constant. And I, you know, I've grown to accept change, but that doesn't mean you have to be happy with it. <laughs> right? Um, excuse me. I don't know how to bring that thing back. You know, CJ, I said, how do I start this again? He said, from square one. And I was like, based. And I've I've said I want to bring back Oink in the past and then I don't deliver. But I just truly, you know, the creators of this game. They just, they made something, you know? And they made something so far beyond themselves which allowed people like me to make something beyond myself. Someone joins in June of 2023 from years and years ago to say that they were thinking about this still. And in some sense, it's like, yeah, I could die happy in, in some sense, but I know I've got the potential for more.
but I haven't capitalized on it. And, you know, oh, I peaked on a Minecraft server. Why are they so empty? Um, oh, that's a throwback of a name. Whew. Um, Anyway, I'm kind of going off track, but jumping into a community was something I really wanted tonight. And somehow, somehow, I was able to foster this thing here, right? This, this block game server. where people could jump on and play with people. Like how incredible, dude. I could jump on and I would know people on. You know, even now I'm going through these plots and like these names, all familiar. Well, not this one. <laughs> And I still remember so many of the early experiences. And I I think what hits me the hardest is that the things that meant so much to me also meant so much to other people, as evidenced by them coming back over in these several months randomly. And I know there's a lot of silence in this BGT. I'm sorry, I just... I think about this a lot, actually, Cauldron Wars. The idea came from an old friend of mine, Hunter, um, which is funny. Different Hunter, though. He, I guess, had the idea. It was used in a server somewhere. That server went down. I forget the exact circumstances there, but I thought it was a great idea. Two teams of cauldrons. And you race to empty them. And I made these different kits. Um, that you could spawn with. Programmatically. I learned so much about just development and Minecraft plugins. And the thing I think about so much is. There are moments when I think, oh, I wonder where I'd be if I had completed this. What if I had completed Seashell by now when I first had the idea so long ago? Um, I think I got my laundry from the dryer, right? Oh, well. Here's the lobby. The old lobby. I have a video of this still. Um, I think to myself, where would I be, you know? And I think the first time I really ever asked that was after April vacation, I had finished Cauldron Wars. The beta was out, people could play it. And I was like, man, I'm like, oof. I probably, where would I be if I hadn't finished it? You know, I'd probably still be thinking about it. That's funny because here, five years later, I'm still like, one day I want to make Seashell. I don't know if that means I'm passionate about something. I don't know if that means it's something I want to do. I don't know what it means. I wish I did, but I don't. But I know that this Cauldron Wars was a turning point for Minecraft because it led to other mini games. I know Link who made these. Rocket Bow doesn't work anymore. One of his first plugins, and I know OITC. I made this in one weekend for a silly reason, but even tonight when I was like, hey, anyone want to do OITC? Some people responded. <laughs> Three people, but I'm not, you know, we're not doing that right now, but it's just, 
this is what showed me, hey, maybe I like games. I like seeing people interact. One of the first people I ever met on uh, oof, streamer mode is kind of annoying here. On Minecraft, um, I can't I can't get the quote because Discord's being weird. But anyway, um, I asked them two months, no, nah, probably five six months ago. I forget, again, I forget why I was thinking about this, but I was like, hey, what do you remember about why I did Oinkraft? I think because I was asking myself the same question of, you know, what gave me the most purpose in life? Um, and they were like, I think you just, I remember you being excited when people got on and played together. There's a game developer I follow on Twitter. The the person behind Dot Age. I haven't played Dot Age. I don't think I'd be into a Souls like population simulator thing. But the joy that they get out of people seeing play their out of seeing people play their game is incredible. Um And I guess I don't know. If I have to make a multiplayer game? kind of networking shit would be involved. I hate networking so much. But maybe my greatest enemy is simply standing in front of my greatest treasure. That's a quote, that's a quote. I just, I can see seashell so clearly in my head. I can see the hues so clearly in my head. Maybe it's the idea that's not so clear that I should go with. I don't know. How do you create something so simple like Tetris or Minecraft yet? Create so many complex... Outcomes. Redstone engine, like, it's just insane. Finally, the music kicked in, bro. And I, I don't know. Maybe this is where my purpose lies, right? <laughs> Just constantly asking myself, how can I create this again? How can I create this community, a community again? How can I create something that I need where I can jump on and there will be people there willing to hang out? More people, I should say. I'm glad the Discord's as vibey as it is. And how can I make sure that other people get the same experience? You know, factions, when I wanted to teleport to the factions world, it was funny to me because it was so popular. But it was my least favorite game mode because it was just people warring against each other. But it, it got people on. And I made some factions plugins and, you know, as with everything, things taper off at the end, but... Still never really learn why I got rejected by Hypixel's mini game developer position. They interviewed me, but anyway. Maybe it's because I'm capable of more, you know. <laughs> um I feel like if I stop talking about this, it's gonna go away. I don't know what to do. I really don't. Will Minecraft come back again? I don't know. I guess it's never really left, but... I 
communities get too big and it becomes dangerous too. Minecraft's had its fair share of problems. Roblox most certainly has its problems. <sighs> How can I also protect people if the community grows to that number, right? I guess that's a question for future me, but... What I needed tonight, where I looked for it, wasn't quite there. It was there, I just didn't feel like I'd be a part of it. And I guess I just want to be a part of it. Anyway, I'm definitely making no sense now. Um, thanks for watching VGC 100. We finally made it. It's been four years. I don't know. I started in summer three years ago. I remember thinking, oh, in two years, if I make one a week, I'll be at 100. But slow and steady, right? Um, yeah, I just want to make a community, but I need help doing it. I know where to start the Oink Discord, but... I have to choose a medium. Ugh, that's the hardest part. Hopefully I don't stop thinking about it. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one.